Welcome back to the Commercial Real Estate Show. I'm Michael Bull. We're talking with Bob O'Brien, the partner with Deloitte. We're talking about their annual report. They have five themes that we're covering. And number three is the Internet of Things. First of all, Bob, if you could give us the quick definition of what the Internet of Things means. Yeah, the Internet of Things, and oftentimes you'll hear it um, referenced to as IoT, is a suite of technologies and applications that equip devices and locations to generate all kinds of information and to connect those devices and locations for instant data analysis and ideally smart action. Right, and commercial real estate property owners and businesses inside those buildings can really gather a lot of information today and the price of that technology has come down, hasn't it? Yeah, the, the, um, there are a couple things that are really driving this. One is the price of the sensors and some of the other technology that's incorporated into this wide range of devices has come down dramatically. And, and then the analytical tools to, to look at all the data being generated by it and um, rationalize that data and use it to support smart decisions, either on an automated basis or on a human basis, those analytical tools have really become much more powerful and less expensive. Right. And what are some examples, Bob, of, of some of these tools that uh, building owners could have in their in their place now? Well, you know, one of the things um, is that real estate has really been an early adopter of many of these technologies. Um, and, and so, for example, if you think through on a, on a commercial real estate building, um, building management systems that control, for example, the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. The um, sensors out there to measure temperature to identify where people are and where people aren't, um, to recognize when um, an office or a suite of offices is occupied or vacant. All those things exist today to allow the building to be heated much more efficiently. Um, what's interesting is when you're able to connect multiple systems, so say not only the HVAC system, but the security system, the fire safety system, um, perhaps the elevator systems, uh, to share data and to um, effectively um, integrate that data and make decisions across the broad operations of the building is where the real opportunity lies today. Right. And a lot of this technology can also help attract tenants, retain tenants, make them more productive, and therefore you're building more valuable, right? Well, exactly. Like we were talking about on the previous segment, it enhances the tenant experience, um, makes the operation of the building more efficient for tenants, uh, reduces the cost to tenants as well as uh, to the building owner. And, and all those things are, are very positive for tenant retention. Yeah, I think I heard something this morning that said that for every person on earth, there's about 27 things that are connected to the Internet. I mean, <laughs> Yeah, and, and what you're finding is even if you think about your own home, right, the residential real estate market is – been an early adopter of some of these technologies, and you're only going to see more of it over the course of the next decade. You know, you're seeing the smart, um, oh, uh, smart um, thermostats. You're seeing smart home security systems now. You're all of which are connected to the internet. Um, so the individual consumer, the individual um, employee of one of your tenants. Uh, they're going to recognize this technology in the um, the um, future that it has. Right. And you've got some great steps for build, uh, property owners here, building owners. And the first one is really to determine the type of the Internet of Things applications that are going to really benefit you, right? Yeah. And, and so, Michael, you know, one of the things, one of the trends we've seen in the real estate industry, right, is um, less per square per square, less or more employees per square foot, right? Or right. less um, square feet for each individual employee. And um, so buildings are becoming more dense, right, in terms of population. Mm -hmm. And some of the smart technology really helps 
to manage those buildings. Uh, one of the things you're, we are increasingly seeing are, are smart elevator systems in buildings that capture data around where the tenants want to go, which floors they want to get to, um, at which time of the day. And the elevator systems are taking that data and um, fine-tuning where they go, which elevators go to which floors, how, how quickly the doors close, all those sorts of things to optimize traffic flow within a building. Again, effectively using Internet of Things to create more effective elevator service in an office building. Right. That's great tips. And then I like uh, your second tip behind that is really that when you figure out which ones will work for you, then how you can monetize them. So you really do want to read the report. There's more here they are going to be able to get to today. And then in the next uh, segment, we're going to talk about 3D printing. I think you're going to be amazed at how that's going to impact commercial real estate. So stay with us. I'm Michael Bull. This is the Commercial Real Estate Show. We'll be right back. Hey there. Thanks for checking out the Commercial Real Estate Show. Don't miss a video of special interest to you. Be sure to subscribe below. And if you appreciate the videos, be sure and thank our sponsors. There's a link to more information about them in the description. For more videos, podcasts, and articles, check out CREshow.com.